Blues coach Brad Fittler narrowed his squad down today, naming his 17 for game one in Sydney, and it's come with some big surprises. Eel Ryan Madison was just happy to be in the camp, but the fact he'll make his origin debut came as a huge shock. Origin teams are rarely kept secret, so Ryan Madison got the surprise of his life in Blues camp this morning. I can break the news to you now. You're in, you're on the bench. Oh, are you serious? Really playing? Well, man, Freddie, thank you. He still wasn't totally convinced, so we showed him the team list with his name in the number 17 jersey. Holy dooly. <laughs> yeah, OK. Um, wow, wow. Oh, wow. Misery, how are you feeling? <sighs> Straight away, I'm just thinking mum, dad, and my brother Dean. Um, yeah, I'm just, I'm just, yeah. Overcome with emotion, Madison couldn't wait to deliver the news to his family. My brother actually shed a tear last night when he found out that I was in the squad, so um, if he found out that I'm, that I'm actually playing, he'll be over the moon. Wow. <laughs> My jaw's hurting from smiling. Uh, I'm, yeah, I'm so excited. Alongside Madison on the Blues bench will be Panther Stephen Crichton. He's been named in the utility role with Jack Whiten securing a starting spot in the centres. Despite being named out of position, Whiten is confident given he played the entire 2020 series at centre. It's exciting, you know, and, and it's also challenging, but I, I guess that's what we play this game for. And, um, I'm very happy to be playing centre. Um, I could have went either way. And coach Brad Fittler revealed the hardest call of his entire Origin coaching career so far was telling Josh Adokar he hadn't made the team. Without a doubt, he's been the heart and soul of this team for a few years now. So, um, yeah, that was the toughest call for sure. Danica Mason, Nine News. Nothing has come easy for Katoni Staggs, a troubled upbringing and off-field dramas which threatened to derail his career but he's come through it all and has now earned a blue jumper. And tonight, he pays tribute to the women who helped get him there. The Blues were chilling out this afternoon, healing their battered bodies with a coogee dip. For the new faces, it was a time to reflect. Rookie centre Katoni Stagg's life has not been a party. He only met his dad two years ago. It was unreal feeling and, you know, 21 years it took and um, it was just something that... You know, I didn't have growing up and, you know, watch my mates go, go over to their place, see them, uh, talk to their dads and that, and I never had that. And, uh, yeah, it was just, you know, to, to actually meet him and sit down with him and have a yarn was yeah, pretty good. Staggs was raised by his nan, Dawn. A tribute to her is tattooed on his arm. His proudest moment, his blues jersey, is dedicated to her. She's my everything and, uh, yeah, that's why I'm here today. Staggs is a freak of an athlete. His post-match backflip in the sheds on Friday night proved that to everybody. But a series of off-field dramas put his career in freefall a year ago. It got to the point where he was forced to meet with Andrew Abdo so he could continue in the NRL. You live and learn and um, I've learnt my lesson and everyone makes mistakes. No one's perfect and... Um, you know, I was just happy enough that I learnt my lesson earlier and, um, yeah, had a yarn with him and, you know... Did I just... it scare you having to have to talk to him? Oh, obviously, you know, he's the boss. I took everything in that he said and I just said, told him that, you know, everything that he was telling me I just took on board and... Um, what was the message? I just, you know, we know that you're better than that. Danny Weigler, Nine News. It's been a big first day in camp for the Blues and it wraps up tonight at the Star. Emma Lawrence is there for the annual True Blues dinner. Emma. James, day one is always a long one in Origin camp. They have a big morning of media commitments and wrap it all up with a bit of glitz and glam here this evening. Now, everyone has just started arriving here on the blue carpet and in a little while, the official team will be presented up on stage. We're also going to get some former players inducted into the Hall of Fame. They'll join the likes of Andrew Johns and Brad Fittler on that prestigious list. Tomorrow morning, the Blues will have their very first training session together at Coogee as the build-up continues, James, to Game 1 next Wednesday night in Sydney. We cannot wait, Emma. Thank you.